I made a big boo-boo. When I made the tutorial for my Live 2D-like motion system for Waruto, I didn't realize there were so many different methods for face tracking out there. In particular, different kinds of blend shapes, which are data about how things on your avatar can be animated, like the mouth and the eyes. I'm used to working with characters that have either AR kit or VRM blend shapes, but it turns out that hundreds or even thousands of you have VR chat visemes, unified expressions, or blend shapes that don't conform to any particular standard. But don't worry, you can use my Live 2D motion system. There's just a couple extra steps you need to go through first. Step one, open a scene in which your face tracking does work. This is probably one where you've been through the Waruto onboarding wizard and set up the face tracking that way. If you've never done this before, just create a new scene, choose your character, select I know what I want to use, and choose either eye facial mocap or media pipe depending on which one you want. Click next until you've finished the onboarding wizard, and really quick, check to make sure your eyes and mouth are in fact moving. Step two, go to the blueprints tab and select the facial tracking blueprint you just generated. In the three dots menu at the bottom of the window, select export blueprint to file and save it out as something you'll remember like working iFacialMocap.json. Step three, reopen your copy of the live 2D motion scene and go to the blueprints tab. Disable or delete the existing blueprint, then click the three dots menu and select import blueprint from file. Choose the blueprint you just exported. Finally, look towards the left side of the blueprint for a node called Get Tracking Receiver Data. In the dropdown, select the receiver asset. There should only be one available to choose. Once you do so, your character's face should be moving. Yay! Now you can go back to the original tutorial video and finish customizing your body movement. Thanks for watching, and sorry again about the boo-boo.